Hey guys, I'm out here at the park where uh, I got the Disney ring from the intro. I also got the small child's ring with the blue stone here. And I also got the large tiger eye ring from the intro. All of those came out of this park. I've also gotten a lot of junk rings here before. And I have a nice signal here. And I'm going to check it out. Oh, it's just a part of a part of the drink bottle. The ground here is just perfect today. It's coming out perfect plugs. It's almost clay-like. Oh, I got a nice 53 here. Let's check it out. <sighs> Oh, these plugs are just coming out great. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right at the tip of my plug. Tail from a pull tab. Solid 46 here. It's going to be right there. Oh, but no, my target is just... Just a bit of cans law this time. Alright guys, I got a 47. Bouncing up to 50 sometimes. Right up in here, close to the concrete. It's gonna be right around here, so... I'll dig a small plug. I've been finding a lot of garbage here today. Okay. What was that? Whoops. My uh, pin pointer going batty on me again, as usual. Oh, I should have been hearing the plug. Alright. Oh, I see something shiny, guys. It looks like gold. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. It's a clatter ring. It looks like a gold clatter ring. Uh, I've got a silver one of these. Let's see if I can find any markings. I think I see a mark. 14k buddy <laughs> yeah uh, it's kind of thin but it's a gold ring I don't think I don't think I've found a 14k in a while most of them are 10k that come out of these parks wow <laughs> that is awesome all right this one's bouncing around the same range 50. 44, 50, 45, 49. Tell you what. If you've got one of these Garrett's, anything <laughs> above 40 and below 60, I know I'm digging every single one of those. Alright, I see something. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like some kind of... I don't know. I don't know what that one is, guys. It looks like it might have been a piece of jewelry or part of a shoe or something. Alright. 
I've got one bouncing here from 40 to 50 roughly. That's spending some time in the danger zone, but it's also bouncing all the way down to the foil zone. <laughs> oh, I see something shiny. Looks like glass. Yeah, that's just glass. Up in the wall of the hole. I'm going to try to... I do see something shiny. Almost looks like a little tiny piece of jewelry. Oh, it looks like looks like it has a little stone on it. I'm not sure what this is. It is jewelry. It's very tiny. I think it's gold. I think this might be my second gold item of the day. Would it be marked? Yeah, it's got, I think it's marked. All right. If, if this is gold and it looks gold, this is gonna be the thinnest, tiniest gold item I've ever found. But it certainly looks gold. Okay. And that end there, that's like a, there's a little dark stone in there. Okay. Well, it looks like one of those rings where there's two pieces. And I've only got the little top piece. It says 14K, guys. <laughs> Here's another 14K bit of jewelry. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it's part of a two-part ring. And would have sat on the other ring like that. The other ring is down here. Uh, maybe the other part is in the hole. I don't know. I'll check. Okay. Bottle cap. Yeah, bottle cap. 91.92. This is the highest signal I've gotten yet on the AT Pro. So it's a 91.92. That nickel I found earlier was about an 89, so... This could be a ni or, I mean, I'm sorry. It was the quarter that I got earlier was pushing an 89 or so. So this could be a quarter. Could be a little variation in the signals. But it doesn't look like a quarter. What is it? Huh. It's a battery on a little tray, like, clip, so somebody lost part of whatever this was. <laughs> oh, well, it's junk. All right, we got a 52, 48, 55. Let's go see what it is. It's right in the right range for a ring. Oh, I do have it out of the hole somewhere up here. Oh, I see something. Actually kind of looks like gold. Oh, weird. It's part. It's part of a class ring. Uh, 2006 class ring. I bet the rest is down there. And I may have broken that off. By digging it. Maybe not, but that's that's a th my third piece of gold because those are usually real. 
Well, it's my third gold item. Part of a 2006 class ring. And those are usually 10 karat. I don't think this part would be marked. Huh. It'd be cool if I found the rest of the ring out here. Maybe it got hit with a lawnmower or something. Three gold items. It's, uh... It's been a while since I found that much gold in one hunt, so I'm pretty excited. And this is the tray where all my good stuff goes. It doesn't go into that tray unless it's silver or gold. Um, so, that's where these two rings will be going, and this little piece of a class ring will be going. It'll be going to uh, the scrap pile. Rebecca's putting the silver clatter ring in there for a minute. <laughs> that one right there. Alright. Um, I got this test kit for uh, jewelry. So I'm going to make sure that uh, this stuff is gold. Especially this one. It's not marked. Okay. The first item I'm interested in testing is this little badge from somebody's class ring. Um, they're usually real gold. Um, most of the ones that I've ever found have been 10k. So I'm gonna start there. Make a nice streak of it on this testing stone. There we are. And uh, this is the 10k acid. Start right here. Put a little drop on there. See if it holds up. Alright. As you can see, it's holding up. It's starting to a little bit deteriorate, but it's basically passing the 10K test. So let's see if it passes. Oops, that's uh. <laughs> Let's see if it passes the 14k test. Put it a little farther down. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's not. It's dissolving. It's actually making a little bit of smoke come off. <laughs> Can you see that? So, this, right here, this little piece, is 10 carat. So, that's pretty cool. At least, it's real 10K. Alright. Uh, this here, this is marked 14 carat. Just going to go ahead and start with the 14 carat. See if it passes. All right, fourteen K. And you can see that it's passing. So I did bring the eighteen carat acid out just in case. And we'll check it. And no, it dissolves right away. So, this small ring here with the little blue stone on it is 14 karat gold. Alright, and then last but not least. Uh, the 14 karat clotter ring I found today. It's hollow on the back. It's a pretty thin ring. But it is also marked 14K. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that on here, but right about there is where it's marked 14K. And, uh, I believe it to be real, but I'm just going to test it. 
Okay. Put a nice streak on there. Here comes the 14K acid. Put it right here. Okay. And you can see that it is it's holding up pretty good. So now hit it with the 18k acid and it'll probably disappear right away. <laughs> yep, it's already gone from that drop. It's already eaten it up. So all three of these items were gold. I found three golds today.